Okay, welcome everybody to this ambush battle. In the hellfireish red corner, we have Kay and the forces of the abyss, and they are fighting up against the somewhat shorter corner of me, Johnny's halflings. These two armies are built uh, exactly how you find them in the uh, forces of the abyss and the halflings uh, ambush starter sets. So this is a great way of just showcasing uh, what you get and uh, how quick and easy it will be to get a game going straight away if you are new to Kings of War. We have added some artifacts and a few bits like that to these lists so they round out at just shy of 400 points either side. So without further ado let's kick things off with turn 1. We roll off now to see who goes first, and that's a 6 for K and a 5 for me, so K gets the first turn. Starting with movement. It's a strong strategy straight away. The scenario for this is, uh, well the objective for this is to get as many units across the other side of the board, so the 50% mark, which is the uh, path down the middle. So straight away K is already just about on there. K's flame bearers are just out of range, so that will be the movement. Now it's over to Johnny to uh, take his movement turn and he is going to be moving his halfling straight up the table as fast as he can. And then this unit is going to stay where it is for now. Yep. This unit... I think it's also going to stay where it is. Yep. That's a bold strategy, leaving his uh, very fast wild runners at the back there. They do have a long 18 inch range with their uh, black powder weapons going to use first straight into the uh, regiment of succubi. Now my succubi have stealthy so you are minus one to hit. Okay so I am on sixes. That's one hit. Yes. That could have been better. But it does wound. And then the other uh, unit of wild runners are uh, going to shoot at the flame bearers. That's a slightly better outcome. You're looking for twos. So that's free go through, not bad at all. And now we go into the morale phase, which is 2d6. You're adding the wounds to that and then looking against the nerve. They are okay. So, start of turn two. K is going to throw the succubi straight into the halflings. They are in the front arc, so they're able to swing it into them, like so. K just weighing up a flank charge. They are in the arc, so they are able to pivot in, in the arc and then swing around and attack from the flank there. So these halflings are now very much pinned in. And K is into Johnny's half of the board. K's flame bearers have got healing brew. It's on a 5 plus. They get 2 points of damage back. Now they've only got one point of damage. And 
the flame bearers are going to attack the wild runners up that top end of the board. Eight attacks looking for fours. That was quite the uh, quite the roll. Rwenge. Now these flame bearers have piercing one against a defense of three. And that is all wounds. All wounds. Ouch. Seven wounds to the wild runs. That could prove quite uh, important when it comes to the morale check later. So yeah, we'll do the, the morale for the shooting. Yep. Yep, there we go. That is those gone. They are out of there. First blood to K. Right. Melee. Okay, so we're into the combat now. The succubi are not hindered because they have the Pathfinder special rule. So they are looking for freeze to hit. With 20 dice, that is a lot of attacks. That's a lot of hits. The blade of slashing, they get to re-roll one. Which is another hit. Now the halflings are only four plus defense, so uh, let's see how this goes. I'm looking for fours. That's not the best roll from K. The halflings are probably uh, just wiping their brow, thinking. Thank heavens for that. But they do still have the Lower Abyssals to come, of course. Now, with the Lower Abyssals being in the flank, they will get a double amount of attacks, but they are hindered because of the fence. We removed the fence for, for the ease of gameplay, but it is still, still there in terms of uh, the attacks. It's quite a nasty roll, though. Awful lot of ones there. Definitely below average roll there from K. So there's no modifiers for the lower abyssals against defense four. That's three more wounds. That takes the halflings up to eight. And then let's check the morale. That's another nine. So, they are gone. it has been quite a, uh, quite a round of attacks from K. I was hoping that they may have just survived long enough to attack back. Yep. Cause... Now, of course, we're just using the, uh, the, the base sets that you get in Ambush. It's a fantastic way of uh, starting the game, st learning the rules. But of course, as you learn to, uh, as you as you hone your skills and you uh, get to larger points tallies, things like heroes become really important. They have things like inspiring, which will uh, make it much harder to route units. This is Johnny's turn, and he is weighing up what to do here because he's he's now down to one unit they are quite punchy quite shooty so he definitely wants to make use of those guns rather than charging in what will he do yeah that's what i'm gonna do yep he's gonna pull them just right right up outside so he can get some shots off to there yep and then they're gonna shoot at you He's got seven attacks, looking for fives. Oh, that could have been a lot better. And there's one going through. Does wound. Will he be able to continue chipping away at them, or is uh, is it game over for Johnny? No. Nope. <laughs> Not on that roll. Doesn't manage to route them, so... It... 
you can uh, pretty much guarantee what's coming next. Over to K. But before they go flying in and finishing these units off, they are going to regenerate some uh, points back because these units have regeneration. We move the, the uh, flame bearers over the 50% mark of the board. And then the lower abyssals are charging straight into the uh, wild runners. And going easy on Johnny, they are not throwing the succubi in. Although we could just get them in on the flank, but uh, the lower abyssals are probably going to be able to take care of this on their own. Ten attacks from the lower abyssals into these wild remaining wild runners. Looking for fours, and that's not too bad. Four hits against defense four. Sorry, defense defense three, but either, either way that goes through. That's another two wounds. And they have a nerve value of nine slash eleven, so let's see if they are routed. They are just okay. They live to fight another round. Not even Not for that. That. <laughs> So over to Johnny, what will he do? He does have the option to be able to withdraw from this combat and then he can shoot. Probably is the wise move because Wild Runners are much better at shooting. Yeah, that's exactly what he's going to do. So withdrawn an inch there and now he'll be able to shoot those lower abyssals. Same again, seven attacks. Looking for fives. That's, uh, again, not fantastic from Johnny. These dice gods have not been in his favour today. I can re-roll that one because of my piercing. Yep, there you go. two wounds. It does two get wounds. two wounds on there. Okay. Might be enough to rout them. They are nine slash eleven as well. What's that? That's eight. Plus 11, that is enough too, that has routed them. Things may yet be coming up Millhouse. <laughs> Absolutely. This might just turn the game, or is it just prolonging the inevitable? Okay, there fails to regenerate a uh, wound back for flame bearers, and then the movement. We're able to, fl we're able to fly the uh, succubi straight in there well within range to charge and that's a lot of dice they're looking for freeze could have been better but probably will be enough looking to looking for freeze to wound and that's quite a few there this could be game over I've got the blade of flashing but I don't think it's going to matter I think you might be Four, okay six, eight, <laughs> nine wounds that looks to to take those to 11, which is enough to see them off the board, and victory to K. Yep. All Johnny could have relied on there was a double one from K, which would have meant they weren't routed, but they are history. That is victory to K. So there you have it, guys. Nice quick game just to show what you get in the sets and how easy it is to get a game going straight away really good game we enjoyed uh, testing out just what you can you can do at such a small points level and uh, you know it's great to, to be able to know that we can even have like a, a lunchtime game now of Kings of War something that uh, hardened veterans of, of long big mass scale Kings of War games uh, would cherish and it is a fantastic way of learning the game as well learning the very basics without having to worry about uh, maybe some of the additional uh, things that you would get from Monsters War Machines. You know, inspiring from heroes, but really does make a big difference in the game. Um, but being able to learn the basics first and then uh, push on with those in future. We are going to look at uh, expanding these two forces into maybe like a 750 point and doing a sim another battle report for them, making this a bit of a series. So do look out for that. 
Um, but for now, thank you very much. Stay tuned and remember that the Ambush starter sets are available for pre-order now and they are in shops on Monday the 16th of January.